Too many. Too many. <laughs> People come out the woodwork on that one. How many times have you watched it yourself? Uh, probably like four. I mean, I mean the memes are good. I mean, I, I see I see a new one every day just about now. But. Tommy was talking about how you don't even much usually pay attention to the outside world a little bit. It seems like you're kind of zoned in a lot of times. Has it, yeah. has it, has it been kind of weird to have so much attention this week? Uh, I mean, I, I don't, I've never even seen it really. The only time I see it is when people send it to me. So yeah. That was, that was the only time I really get to see it. You've had a few days to think about it, but what's going through your mind when you're up there flying like that, going turned around? I just hope I got the first. I didn't see the stick, so I landed too. So I, mean, I kind of reached the ball at the end. But going back, I wish I'd reached it out before I landed. What does the team say or the reaction when they see it, when you're all sitting in the group together and it happens? I mean, they liked it. I, mean, I was just trying to get the first day, so. Coach said that the key to the play is don't run on a fourth and 16, but yeah. the things happen in a game. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, we probably talked down, talk, talked about it with me and uh, what you could have done. And, mm -hmm. I mean, there's really two options, and he'd rather me pick the other one. So. <laughs> When you look back at the game, uh, from, from what you did and also from what Tommy did, what did y'all see that you know needed correcting before you get to Kentucky? Um, just putting the right amount of air and like making executing the pass game really is what it came down to for us. I mean, I mean he wasn't healthy, so you could tell he wasn't really thinking about like what he was supposed to. You know, he's trying to manage to his shoulder hurting obviously, but um, just. Making the throws, I mean, for the most part, we made the right reads. It's just finding the right type of touch or just um, the right amount of zip on it, and that's what we're getting corrected up this week. Tommy said you don't really care about much of anything other than football. Where, where does that come from? Like, where, where does that mentality stem from? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, would, I wouldn't really say that, but. <laughs> what, what else do you care about other than football? I mean, I just, football's just something I do. I mean, it's not like I don't. That's not my everyday life. I mean, I have other things that I'd like to do, but, yeah. How would you evaluate? I mean, you got, you, you've got two games under your belt now. Just how, how, do, you, how do you feel? How, how do you feel you've performed? What do you feel like you can do better? I've done all right. I've just cleaned up the freshman mistakes. And um, every, everything's just learning from it and getting better and not repeating the same mistakes that I've made already and just improving my game that way. And everything else will come. I mean, I'm physically capable just um do, not making the same mistakes is the big thing. You mentioned the touch of the ball. The first in the Southern Miss half, you're out there, you seem to have some touch. Then this game, maybe some balls were going a little bit high. Was uh, how, does, how do things like that change from week to week? Is it a defense or what you read or what? Um, I mean, it's just part of it's like timing, red, being ready. I mean, I, I mean, it was kind of more in the moment for mm -hmm. me. I, I kind of had a feeling I was going to Southern Miss, but last week it was just kind of like I had no clue, and then. Just being part, just being ready. I mean, I guess, and it, it's throws that I make all like all week in practice, and I just got out there, and it, it just comes out a little bit differently. But now that you've played a couple ball games and had the taste of this, uh, would you prefer to continue to play this year, or would, do you hope to maybe redshirt and preserve your four years of eligibility? Uh, I'm just gonna do whatever they need me to, and um, I mean, a redshirt would be nice, but if, if I have to step in there and play, then I have to, that's what we want to do. People forget that uh, you were kind of limited in spring after coming off the high school procedure there to clean some things up. And maybe couldn't do all the weightlifting and strength stuff. How much stronger do you feel now than you did it back in January? Um, I'm a lot stronger. I mean, it's different now in season, but in the summer I, I was I got to be able to move some weight around and I felt good. But now we're just in in season uh, program, so a lot less off the shoulders. We're not really benching as much. Mm -hmm. We're doing all restricted stuff as QBs, focus on like our scaps and everything. And um, so, I mean, it's not really focused on strength right now. It's just maintaining right. and being healthy, having the range of motion to throw. So you still have – we'll see a lot more next year from you after a full year in the strength system. Oh, yeah. I, I should – I'm trying to find some weight too, so. How do you mentally prepare for a game that you don't think you're going to play in? Um, you got to think you're going to play. That's a big thing. Um, just being ready and um, taking mental reps. Is really what helps. I mean, I think it's hard too when you, if you're not getting a lot of reps in practice. But this week and last week so far, I mean, I've taken a lot of reps for the most part, and uh, just stay ready when your uh, numbers cold. You mentioned eliminating freshman plays. When you're on the field throughout the course of the game, and you make a play, can you kind of tell, yeah, that was a freshman play, or does it not occur to you until you go back and watch film and see it and say, yeah, that was a freshman play? A little bit of both. I mean, normally when you hear people yelling, coach yelling at you from the sideline. 
you know, you probably messed up. But besides that, I mean, there's always there's, there's always stuff you can clean up, but some mistakes are definitely worse than others. So there's certain play you heard, the, heard a little yelling on other that you remember? Yeah, yeah. So but, uh, just getting cleaned up. And this stuff I'm not going to do again, so it's all good. It's in the past response. So with all the fun everybody has with the helicopter type play, is that the kind of play that kind of set a tone for the career that here's a guy who will do anything, whatever it takes, to help his team get a first down, get a touchdown, get a win? Yeah, I mean, I didn't, I, I didn't even think twice about doing that. I mean, I've done it again. I'll just tuck the ball out next time. But, I mean, try and get the win. And the game, the game didn't come down to that play. I mean, there's a lot more stuff that I could have done to execute and put us in a better situation to win. That just... That was just me at the end of the game trying to make a play. Having two games now under your belt, I guess it's a little cliche, but how much more comfortable do you feel walking into a game in a situation and just hopping off the bench? I feel, feel good. Um, I mean, I always, I, I never really wish shell shock from the first week, but um, just getting the game, ring game reps and be, getting used to the looks that we see on tape, that definitely was a shocker for me because going through and practice, the team does what they can, but actually seeing it real time. I mean, I feel a lot more comfortable with it. You mentioned this 